quick trip down to the coast this morning. Um, I've got a two hours free, so I'm going to have a quick wander here and explore. I haven't been to this section of coast for a few years now, so... And I kind of forget how how great a location it is. Um, you can see behind me, you've got the beach heading off in that direction. But the other side, you've got um, sort of a red, the red cliffs going behind me there. Yeah, there's some hazy mist in the distance there. And that looks like I might be able to get a really nice shot. So I'm going to head in this direction and see what I can find. It's the main section of the beach. This is called the Naze. And to the left there you can see the, the crumbling orangey red cliffs it's slowly falling onto the beach here. That's why you got a, such a large expanse here. I mean, the tide is out at the moment. But even when the tide's in, as you can see how far it does come, it's quite muddy down below. Over in that direction there, we've got an old World War II sort of lookout shelter. There's quite a few of these listed along the beach here. And in the far distance, over there you've got the Port of Felix so which is currently shrouded in mist. You can see in front of me there the, the way the erosion has exposed the roots from that tree. It's pretty much on the verge of falling from the cliff there. I won't get any closer. You can see all the roots just hanging over the cliff. And there's the tree there and it's or oh, I think sometime next year that's going to come crashing down onto the onto the beach here. You can see further down there is a another tree fallen probably in the last year or two. So the sea just comes in and it's just slowly eating away at the cliff face there. Just taken a panorama of the Port of Felix, though, which is across the river there in the distance. Um, so the mist has lifted a bit. I did take one further back down the beach, um, but just take another one, just in case I didn't quite get focus. Um, on the 100 to 400 on my cannon here zoomed in at 400 it does tend to hunt a bit um, I don't know if that's because it's probably because there's a lack of contrast because I'm zoomed quite in and it's very hazy and misty so it's, it's finding it difficult to pick out the focus so hopefully once I've locked focus I, I'm switching it to manual and hopefully that, that stick I should get a nice sharp uh, panorama going across the scene there. to the coast a bit here, the seas, as you can see, is behind me there. And the port is far in the distance in the haze there. But I just come down low here, I'm just doing a, a long exposure. You've got the seaweed down below there. Um, that's covered all the rocks there, leading out to the shoreline there. So I'm just taking a few long exposures, trying to use some of this seaweed here with the rocks as a leading line out to the sea because in the distance that, that sky is quite dramatic nice and moody see the sky is really dark over there
was an interesting morning. There was a heavy rain shower just come down half an hour ago. Really heavy. And I got soaked. And I just got back off the back to the cliffs here. And the rain just literally stopped in the space of two seconds. As if someone turned the, the tap off. So at least I can dry it now. Yeah, the, the rainy weather's headed behind me there, if you can see the moody skies in the distance. And towards the port there. I did just set up my camera and I did take a... Uh, about a five shot vertical panorama, so I'm hoping that will come out. It's still at a fair distance, so I'm not sure how far I can crop into the scene. So I'll see how much detail I have. Yeah, it's a quick trip here. Um, just a quick stop off at the at the coast. So I didn't take a lot of B-roll, but I just grabbed as many photos as I could. But I will surely return here because it's a great, great location. This. Um, hopefully, I can return during the Christmas break. It all depends on the restrictions in, in the UK now. Uh, they've got tighter, and they probably will get tighter still. So I'll see how it goes. Uh, currently where I live is this tier 2. I suspect we will at least move to tier 3. If not tier 4 at some point. Uh, it depends uh, how it's all, how the virus is spreading at the moment. But anyway, I hope you have a good Christmas. And uh, hopefully a healthier and better new year than this year, that's for sure. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.